I think uh, I would say that we had a good quarter. Uh, our revenues overall grew by 8% and we had healthy profitability. Uh, basically, we are within our guidance for the year and uh, looking forward to, to driving the rest of the year. Yes, obviously the acquisition helped in the growth numbers and clearly uh, some part of it was from the, from the acquisition. But we also grew uh, uh, organically uh, very well actually, especially in the corporate business and in the direct uh, consumer business. Well, I would highlight uh, the corporate business, especially the reseller, uh, where we experienced strong growth. We did very well in all the markets where we have investing actually. So Germany, France, uh, Japan was a very strong country for us as well as US. And also uh, clearly shows that our product is extremely competitive in the market. We have invested in the sales and marketing and clearly the reseller channel exp is expanding very well for us. I'm very pleased with that performance for us in the quarter. And also cybersecurity services is experienced very strong, good, healthy growth for us. There's a high demand in the market. And uh, I suppose the biggest challenge we have there is on recruitment. So we are really, really heavily looking for new talent into the company. And, and we are many, many open positions for us, which is hindering the growth a bit in that segment. Well, I think uh, if I start from the operator side and then we talk about the direct business. So on the operator side, uh, our sales was flat year on year in terms of our revenue. Uh, obviously, we would like it to be more and get into growth as, as the rest of the company is right now. Uh, I have to say that we are rolling out safe. The multi-device offering is being rolled out. Over half of the operators have it already. And that's, of course, a key part. And the next phase for us is to continue rolling out new products into the operator channel. Very important for us going forward. We basically had a slight decline in Europe and growth in Latin America and, and North America when it comes to operating business. If I didn't look at the direct business, uh, direct to consumer business, we did very well. It was good growth. We continue performing well with the safe multi-device offering, but also now Freedom is gaining more share for us and, and is proving to be a great new addition to our portfolio. We want to expand also in the direct business and uh, I'm also very pleased with Freedom that we actually now got a lot more partners. It's continuing the OEM channel is improving for us. So good expansion on that one in the quarter three. I think absolutely yes. I, I, I understand that there is hype, but it is also a fact that the numbers and the attacks the amount of incidents is increasing quite dramatically just in the last year alone. And you only need to read any newspaper or any news articles or watch the news overall in TV and you will see how the attacks are coming every week now. And the financial implications of the attacks on their own is also increasing. So there's a lot of worry on the enterprise side to get better either on responding when you find something or before that to have the blocking in place. So clearly there's a big demand for both the combination of great products as well as very skilled high technical personnel who can together make the best of combination there. I think the integration is uh, going very well, pretty exactly as planned for us. So I'm very pleased with that progress. And we are now more and more starting to focus on just building the business together. I think a substantial, another substantial benefit that we see now is the combination of the labs and the cybersecurity experts, right? So we can already see the cases where the combined effort that we have together as two companies becoming one and the benefits for enterprises and corporations is very clear. I'm very excited actually about the opportunity we have in this space and so are the people who are working on the cases as well as the response from the enterprises that we see already. Yeah, actually, we're working on concrete product or, or a combined solution, uh, which we are already piloting. We're now with customers, enterprises, and we will get it in first half next year. We're coming out with a combined new product for enterprises in the cybersecurity space, as well as including the services or the rapid response team that comes with it, right? So that's the solution that will come out in the first half next year. Uh, 
uh, well maybe firstly we will continue to to grow with the corporate market and invest into it, both in the reseller as cybersecurity services as well as look at possibly then at some MA activities in that space now secondly we are a product company as well, strong ones. So we need to work hard on our R&D and innovation. We will look at new launches, as I said already, in the cybersecurity space for enterprises, in the Internet of Home space, which is important for us as well, either direct or through our operator channel, which is a great channel for us to continue with. And maybe that would give you a picture overall then continue investing also in the expansion of the channel, which is so important for us as a company as well. Well, two things. One, we will continue fighting for digital freedom. We are the good guys and we will continue driving that. The second, I see a great opportunity for us as a company to take our place as the leader of European cybersecurity space. That's something that we feel strong about and we will continue driving that. Thank you. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next quarter.